I was really worried that I was going to walk into a room full of really tall, skinny, blonde women with big boobs and gorgeous. And there were those there, and they were beautiful inside and out. I was only 15, and I remember going to some shops and buying some pink trousers and pink shorts, because I thought that's what everyone would be wearing. But there were so many different types of people there. It was, it was really nice and accepting. I first discovered pole dancing when I was 15. I remember my mum seeing an advert in the local paper saying there were pole dancing classes for fitness nearby. Uh, my dad said, you're not doing that, you're not doing that. And I said, oh, you can't stop me, it's a fitness class. So I went along, did it for fun and fitness, and it was brilliant. Pole dancing still, um, still has now, but definitely back then, had connotations that it was all to do with strippers and that if it was to do with strippers that means it would be a bad thing. So I think my dad was looking out for me, being 15, that maybe it might have been a bit too much of a sexual thing to get involved with at such a young age. Pole dancing is an extremely intense workout for all over body. It's um, mainly using your upper body, so all your arms um, and chest. After that, you move down to your, your core strength, and then legs are also involved as well. If you want to make everything look perfect, you'll really work on locking your knees out, pointing your toes, which really works all of your thighs as well. When you're up the pole or when you're doing floor work around the pole, you're constantly engaging all of your muscles. And to make everything look smooth and effortless, you really have to have full control over everything you do, which is extra hard. The reason pole dancing started as a fitness or as a, an art form in this country or across the world is strippers. They, they were in the clubs, they were doing these amazing tricks and they started teaching each other um, and they started getting better. So a small group of strippers around the world decided to set up classes individually for normal people or people that aren't strippers to come along and, and have a go and that's where in the last 20 years this has spread. This has spread in gyms and in studios across the world. So the main reason pole dancers wear a very small amount of clothing is because we actually use our body to grip. Um, we name certain parts of our body, so the elbow pit and the pocket, um, and we use all these parts of our body to actually grip on the pole. The other reason sometimes people wear tiny little pants and tiny little bras is because we're in an environment where we can and we feel safe and I think it's good to be able to show your body off and feel confident. I think people's perceptions have broadened with pole dancing. I think not only have people become more accepting that it's a fitness and it's a, an art form, but I feel people in general have become more accepting. So if girls want to dance in stripper heels and they want to go down a more sensual, sexy route of pole dancing, that that's okay as well. It doesn't just have to be a fitness, it can be um, a way to boost your confidence and let your in a sexy goddess come out. So wearing a small amount of clothing and um, using our skin to grip on the pole means that you have a metal pole which is often coated in grip um, and your skin is gripping to that. So when you do certain tricks you will remove parts of your skin, you will get friction burns, occasionally you'll bleed a little bit bruising a lot but we all wear those with pride and we're really excited when we get a nice little breeze because it shows that we've really worked hard and got a new trick. Squeeze your thighs together and reach up, push your legs down and this is what we call Superman, okay? So to dismount just pop your legs down on the floor and you're out. I first started my studio when I was 19. I was taking a gap year, I was going to go to university and study marine biology but the lady who used to run a pole dancing studio in Hereford moved away and closed down, so there was nowhere teaching. I had been pole dancing about four years at that point, so I decided in my gap year to just set up. 
The reason being was not really to make money, it was just because there was nowhere in the area at all that was teaching. So I set it up. That was 12 years ago now, and it slowly became my full-time job. I'm still here, but I'm just gonna remove my glasses. Excellent. Yay! Slow down. Nice! Well done. Thank you. We have people from the age of five all the way up to 63. Mainly girls and women, but we do have some guys as well. Pole dancing is trying to become accepted in the sporting industry at the moment. There is an organisation which are really pushing forwards to even get it noted in the, in the Olympics. It's great and it's really good that people are taking it seriously in that respect. However, for me, I think it's really important that it stays an art form and it stays a dance. It's self-expression. I find that most people that do pole dancing come along to build their confidence up. They don't want to be an Olympic athlete. And in fact, if it came into the Olympics, I think a lot of people might get put off by it. It might get respect from more people in a general view but I don't think that's important for it to become a sport. I think it needs to be an art form. I used to compete an awful lot when I first started and I won two UK championships. I love it. I love getting on the stage and I'm a bit of a show off really. So I really like making eye contact with the audience and seeing if they enjoy my performance. I took five years out because I really pushed forward with my studio and I lost a little bit of confidence in those five years. Then last year I found my confidence. My, my other half, Kieran, said to me, just compete, do it again, just do it. And I was always thinking I wasn't, wasn't quite ready. But I did, I put my video entries in and I got through to the uh, two finals of the, the only two biggest competitions in the UK straight away, which was amazing. To compete it takes a lot of dedication and hard work, but it's really, really fun. So when I'm out and about um, and I see something I want to do a trick from or a pole, a pole dancing move from, I forget about anyone else who's in the area. I remember I was away a few months ago and there was these, um, this big fence that I did a human flag from. Um, forgot I was wearing a dress and tiny pants and did the move with lots of people walking past looking not sure if they're impressed or um, just wondering why I was exposing my pants and didn't really mind but you don't mind you're more focused on getting the trick um, I'd like to think they're impressed by the strength <laughs> my favorite thing about pole dancing is everything if I go into the studio one day and I'm feeling strong I can train all of my hard tricks if I'm feeling tired, I can work on my flow around the pole and my dancing. If I'm feeling sexy, I can put on my heels and practice my floor work and my heel bangs. I can, I can literally use this piece of metal to do whatever I want and it makes me feel really happy.
the definitive guide to filmmaking. Welcome to my Cinematic Masterclass.